everybody, and thank you for tuning in to the Liberty Report. With me today is our co-host, Daniel McAdams. Daniel, good to see you today. How are you this morning, Dr. Paul? I understand that uh, we might have a few questions to answer. That's right. You're back in the hot seat, sir. Oh, okay. You know, we really enjoy our, our audience participation. They participate by commenting during the show live. Uh, and then whenever we want to do a show, we want to bring them in. We do our Ask Ron Paul show where they get to ask you questions directly. This time, every single time, it seems like they're getting better. And this was a good crop, too. It was tough to whittle it down. We both spent some time doing it. But let's go right to the first question. Uh, and this is a good and timely question uh, that people are asking. Do you think, the, this is from Loopy, do you think the collective banning of Alex Jones by big tech constitutes a form of election meddling? Hmm. Well, that's a, that's a good question, and, uh, you know, right offhand, uh, I, I don't think uh, that uh, there should be charges made of an election meddling and that we need the government to come in with some election law to do some enforcement. But I think it's an interesting topic, main, mainly because, um, you, you know, it is being performed by people who don't like Alex Jones, and they'd like to close him down, and it looks like on the surface that they're doing this. But I would suspect in the last month or two, there's more people that know about Alex Jones, and a lot a lot of people are defending what I like is people say, you know, I don't like this Alex Jones stuff. He's, he's over the top, but I tell you what, uh, he has a right to say this and we should defend that and they come to his rescue. The other thing, when you look at the people that go to his sites that, uh, and, and, and people who are looking up Alex Jones, I mean, it's massive. It's not uh, tens of thousands. It's literally into the millions. So maybe this all will backfire if they're trying to punish him and close him down uh, because of course, on occasion, he says controversial things. It might actually give him a boost. I often kidded, but I don't know if there's a way of doing it and, uh, because we get some attacks, not quite like what Alex gets. But uh, you could say, why couldn't Alex put up something and let us say, this is the program I had today that nobody will publish. If you're interested in it, this is where you go. If he could get that message out you know, and get around the system, believe me, he could use it as an advertisement. In a way, I think it's worked that way because because people have been introduced to him because of this controversy. What is he saying? And what do you do with an individual like this? One thing is, though, I, I don't think it's the kind of meddling that you have to have government regulations. It would be nice that uh, we could have uh, social media that's a little bit uh, different. Uh, my main approach for social media is making sure they don't get any government benefits. And some of them have and, and continue to do that. But uh, there's a way to get around that. The market can handle this. They have in the past. And and in time, I think, uh, and I hope, this all backfires because uh, though uh, Alex and I, and I are not identical in what we talk about, we're similar, and there are some people that would like to do that to us. And I keep asking my staff, what do you do? What do you do? How do you, have, how, how do you compensate for this? And how do you uh, make sure you can reach? Because some people, it won't matter about, uh, you, know, uh, 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 you know, the social media that, that uh, you can still get there if they'll come to us directly. That's what I hope we're able to do uh, no matter what they try to do. Right now, we have to admit that we do get some help from Facebook and Google and these other sources, and uh, there are some good parts on that. And public pressure is very good to keep the pressure on these guys because, uh, you know, they can back down and, uh, and, and, and change their ways, and I think public pressure is the most powerful weapon to use. Yeah. Very good, and let's move on. With <laughs>